Hey guys, we had a version update today and I just wanted to make a quick video about both the version update as well as part 4 of the 45 million players campaign and I didn't even know there was going to be a part 4 because JP said there was only going to be 3 parts but apparently on the worldwide version we're going to have a part 4 so uh, let's quickly go over the version 6.3 update. Most of this stuff I've already talked about in previous videos but I'll just do a quick skim through to remind you what this is all about. So group score match is like the everyone's score match thing where it had a separate kind of um, LP cost. It wasn't using LP, I was using music notes. You could group up with different players to play score match. That wasn't part of the event. And this probably includes the 100 person score match as well. And as well, we have the stamp set creation. So you can customize your stamps that you use in the score matches and in the friendly matches. Uh, that's pretty nice. Performance meter replay is pretty much uh, replaying a song that like you record using the feature. So you can record like your performance on a particular song and then you can watch yourself play. And this is a pretty good feature for those people who actually do want to get better at the game because it allows you to kind of watch yourself and see what you're doing right and wrong. I always encourage people to like if you want to truly get better, just record yourself and this is a great way to do it for people who don't have like hand cams, webcams, or whatever cams that they can't easily access. So now that you have an in-game way to actually do it, it's a lot easier to evaluate your own performance. That's a very nice uh, addition. Clear Cache. This is a button that you'll find on the title screen. It's on the top left and what it does is pretty much it deletes a whole bunch of useless data that might be hogging a bunch of your phone space. Uh, it's only necessary if your phone doesn't have too much space. So if you're like me and you have a lot of space on your phone, it's not really too so too like important to actually clear the cache. But if you have like a very small uh, space phone, then clearing cache could help you make room for another game, for example. LP usage options. Uh, this is pretty much the four times modifiers that you can normally use by playing uh, like token events and Osample rallies or adventure strolls as they call them in the worldwide version. But now that their version 6.3 is out, we can actually use these modifiers for every event type. So you can play score match for example using the 4 times modifier. It would take you 4 times the amount of LP and give you 4 times the amount of event, event points by doing so. It's a great feature for people who don't have a lot of time but still want to play the events, like me, so I'll definitely be using them a lot. A waiting room. Waiting room is another new feature and it's pretty much just like 300 additional slots uh, for people to, you know, expand their box space, but the members in the waiting room cannot be used. So it's, it's like extra storage space. If you don't want to buy storage space using Love Gems, it's nice. Uh, everyone gets like 300 more. You can move things like promo cards, SR cards you don't use anymore, all that kind of stuff into the waiting room. And then it'll clear room for your main box space. Uh, auto remove for present box is pretty much, you know, like the auto remove feature for the regular member list. But now you can do it in the member box so you can kind of sell all your end cards that have accumulated in the present box without actually like withdrawing them and then navigating to the member list to actually remove them. So that's another nice quality of life feature. And uh, Nijigasaki High School Club uh, album filters, which is pretty much uh, ca separate categories for the Nijigasaki uh, members. They were usually categorized as other, but now they have their own category. So uh, all the end cards are other, as well as like um, Arise and Saint Snow. Muse is Muse, Aqua is Aqua. And now the Nijigasaki Euros have their own filter. And then this is like some minor stuff, doesn't really affect too much. You can do friend point scouting when your member list is full, so you can just do that whenever you want. You don't have to like uh, do a bunch of member scouting and then clear your member space. You can just do use all your friend points if you really wanted to. Live clear screen functionality. Not really sure what this is. <laughs> um. Actually, don't know. Maybe they like made some like, graphical changes. Item names cut off in the purchase history uh, because of uh, English being a mundane language that uses 
a really obscure alphabet and whatnot, and Japanese having a whole bunch of condensed characters, a lot of things in the purchase history were getting cut off, so it was just adjusting that. Member sort settings reset after practice. I'm not too sure about this either. I, th I think it's um, once you like try to practice members and you try to sort, uh, it would result your, r result in your um, filters being reset, and then maybe they changed it so that once you apply a filter, it'll always be on until you like turn it off. And yeah, that's that's all the things that it mentions in this version update. So now I'm gonna quickly talk about the more exciting stuff, which is the version. Not the version, the 45 million players part 4! So they just mentioned more of the lottery that will happen later on in December. So you can log in today for this special surprise login bonus. One day only, and if you miss today, then you're gonna miss out on a lottery ticket, so you better damn log in. Or don't give us a better chance to, to get the good prizes. Uh, next off is some more login bonuses uh, from November the 22nd to the 30th. Nine days in total, you'll have to log in to like each day in order to get the final lottery ticket bonus. If you miss one day, you won't get it. So you gotta log in every day until the end of the month if you want another lottery ticket chance. And then this is the most insane thing is that they're giving us free scouts. And it's not just like any free scout, it's like a solo poll. That ult features only SR plus cards. It's that's crazy, man. You get like six days of both Muse and Aqua. SR plus cards only. It's like a 70% chance for SR, 20% for SSR, and 10% for UR. So that's 12 chances in total to get some good stuff. Just gotta log in every day and do it. And I'll show it off at the end of the video if you're curious. It's just in the scouting screen. Just do it once, a solo pull every day for Muse and Aqua, it's crazy! And then now we have more packs, and of course, gotta shill the packs because that's how they pay for the servers. Uh, these packs are advertised to be very cheap, and I'm not too sure the actual cost because we won't get the first one until tomorrow, but it's like 5 love gems and an SSR scouting ticket. And if I had to guess, maybe like $3? That would be my guess for like if they're advertising it to be super special cheap. And you can buy, I think, up to 10 of them? So it will make sense that it's $3, and then you buy all 10, it'll be like $30, so the standard price for like 50 love gems. It might be like $4 because of the ticket, who knows, but I still think it's pretty worth it. A lot worth it than just buying love gems normally. And then finally, there's gonna be this step up scouting. And it, they always do this to accommodate the packs that they're selling. And this is also kind of crazy. There's going to be type of scouts for the year groups, so six in total. And uh, it's, it works a bit differently from before, but here's the breakdown. Step 1, 11 for 10 gems. That's actually stupidly crazy because it costs less than one gem in total to scout for like a member in this case. You, you spend 10 gems, you get 11 cards. And even if you don't want anything, and even if there's no SR guaranteed for this first step, you really should do it. Because at the very worst, you'll get 11 end stickers. Step 2 is like a standard uh, SR guarantee, but it's reduced. It's normally like 30 gems for that, but now it's 20. But this is another worthwhile one to do. Not as insane as the 10 gems for 11, but 20 gems for 11 with an SR guarantee is almost just as good. So if you have a lot of love gems saved up and you got nothing really you're aiming for, I would highly recommend doing step 1 and step 2 for all 6 days if you can. If you can't, then definitely try to do step 1 for all 6 days if possible. You'll get a whole bunch of resources that you can use in the future. You should really do it. Uh, the, the last 3 steps are just kind of standard. Like, step 3 isn't worth it because 30 gems for Scout 11 with no guarantee, and Step 4 is 40 for 11 with... Sure, you get 2 SRs guaranteed, but it's still not that worth it. And Step 5 is 3 SRs guaranteed, so I'm guessing that any Step 5 and beyond, because it has the plus, it'll be like 
guarantee three SR members for per 50, which actually isn't worth it. Uh, you would much rather have the SSR guarantee uh, that they normally have for this kind of step up thing. Vinsa, uh, in terms of game logic, a one SSR is the equivalent of five SRs, just based on like sticker equivalency. So overall, do step one and step two if you can. Step three, four, and five plus just aren't as worth it. Uh, finally, um, exclusive stories, uh, Emma continuing the Nijigasaki saga, more goals, which I'm assuming will, you'll get another lottery ticket for finishing the final goal for that, yeah. And then limited time songs, Kiseki, Karu, and uh, a terribly translated Hop Step Yippee will be available until the 30th. So you should play those for the Love Gem reward for the first time clear and whatnot. And experience double. You get like 5 days of double the experience. Not really too much to say about this. It's not as crazy as 10 times experience that we'll probably be getting sometime in December. But it's still incentive to play when there's no event going on. So just use all your LP, uh, get the extra experience. It's very nice. That's pretty much it. For Worldwide Part 4, will there be a Part 5? Who knows? Like, Part 4 was already unannounced. There was only three parts on JP, and for some reason, Worldwide gets four. So, let's, let's finish off this video with the Solo Scouts, just to show them off. Just go here, do this once every day, and you can check the details here. It's gonna be 10%, 20%, 70%, 70 as I said before. It has every member pretty much so every member that has come out let's see what we get probably two srs oh okay this is a initial sr maki i think very very old card and go to the aqua side oh clap oh easy I have no use for this card, but um, it'll it'll be a nice sticker. Yeah, imagine like six days of this. If, if you don't get anything good from it, that, um, that's actually like very very unlucky. Since I would expect you to actually get like a few SSRs if you did like all twelve of these. But yeah, hopefully you guys get a UR too. Easy clap. I'll see you guys next time when we have something else to discuss. Probably not until December though, I would think.